Most people who run B&Bs in Tennessee, or anywhere for that matter, would prefer you leave your animals at home when you come for a visit. Not the case with Marie Lloyd in Shelbyville. She set out to open a B&B &B that's hospitable to humans and horses alike. Shelbyville, Tennessee. The name is synonymous with horses. And where there are horses, you're likely to find horse farms. Among the best is Clearview Horse Farm, just south of town. That's Marie Lloyd over there. She looks like she was raised in the saddle, probably a Shelbyville native. I'm the owner and operator of Clearview Horse Farm, Bed and Breakfast and Horse Show Arena here in Shelbyville. Whoa, Nellie, you're not from around these parts, are you? No, I'm originally from uh, Manchester in England. And as, uh, as a family group, we came over to visit Tennessee, um, attracted by Elvis Presley, so we ended up uh, in Memphis, and then did a back roads tour and just fell in love with Middle Tennessee. True, Tennessee is lovely, but why would a proper English lady cross the pond to start a horse farm? Instead of just buying a flower shop and doing that kind of thing, and flower shops aren't really for me, um, I decided to do what I wanted to do, which is have all my horses under one roof, have shows and trainers come here, and obviously as a little sideline is the bed and breakfast. Blimey, not only is the B&B &B busy, but the business in the barn is blooming brisk. Through the summer months, we have a show nearly every weekend, ranging from barrel shows, ropings, we have POA, which is Pony of America, we even have dog shows here. These are our typical Tennessee stables, uh, which we love. This is the country barn, but over there behind me, we have the show barn. And there's 48 stalls in the show barn, and I imported the stalls from England because I wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted something to put me on the map and also remind me of England. So these stalls were um, designed by Monarch, who actually have uh, very similar stalls in the Queen's Mews, where she keeps all her horses, and they're Victorian or Elizabethan. The stables are fit for a queen. And so is the countryside, which Marie puts to good use. Well, we give little pony and riding lessons, and um, on the trail rides, we use our walking horses, our Tennessee walking horses. And it is supervised riding. Because people say they can ride, and they can't. You know, yeah, they see all these wonderful Clint Eastwood movies and want to go galloping off into the sunset. And next thing, you know, they're in Fayetteville, <laughs> Highway 231, going, hey! So, no, we do a nice, steady, supervised ride. Yeah, well, oh, am I boring you? Sorry. <laughs> well, boredom's not a problem, for humans anyway. Even if riding's not your cup of tea, there's plenty to do. We have a beautiful vis-a-vis -vis carriage, and we do carriage rides and buggy rides for people who don't want to ride, but they want to have a, some kind of contact with horses, and they're quite happy seeing the ears in front, you know, as opposed to sitting on their backs. We've got the fishing in the pond, which is stocked with bass and bream and lots and lots of catfish. Then we've also got the swimming pool round by the uh, deck behind the bed and breakfast rooms. And then we've also seen people golfing in the big front field. So while the wives are riding and enjoying the show, the kids are fishing and daddy's playing golf on the front back there. Yeah, so we try and keep everybody busy. Well, they'll find something to do anyway. All of this activity can make a bloke feel out on his feet. No worries, governor. You'll be chuffed to bits with the accommodations. And that's a good thing. I decided to do them all in different horse themes because we do cater for every breed. So we've got the Tennessee Walking Horse Room, which is a big family room. It's got a queen bedroom and uh, connects to a twin bedded room. I, I kind of tried to go for an elegant look with the, that beautiful um, bed with all the scrolls and everything and made it into a family room which is very useful, you know, for parents and the big queen bed and then the children, you know, and the twin beds in the other room. And of course that room gives on to the deck, which, uh, which they love. The quarter horse room, I actually found the furniture quite by accident. I was at a cutting horse show and there was these people who'd made this furniture 
and I'm like, I've got to have that bed. It's a major feature of the quarter horse room, I think, with its uh, beautiful cowhide and the colour and the red and everything. Yeah, it is exquisite. Thoroughbred room is uh, quintessentially English, I believe, and we have pictures of thoroughbreds in there. And a lot of the little bits and pieces on the wall I actually did bring with me from England, you know, like the china plates and everything like that. The Mule Lodge, you know, it's a great place for people who want to stay for a full week because it's got the, uh, the washer, the dryer, the kitchen, the oven, and they can cook and, and do what they want. And there's two bedrooms in there, plus there's also a great sofa, you know, as a, as a spare. Yeah. And for those who want to bring their own bedroom... We've got RV hookups. We have people camp here for about two or three months in the summer. When asked to sum up life on the farm, Marie's answer was no surprise. It's peaceful. I'd like to make them feel a little bit that they're on, on holiday, catch their breath and sit and watch the geese fly by. <laughs> oh, well, I'm hoping she's smiling. Oh, there you go, Tucky. The horses are smiling, the people are smiling, all because of the jolly good times had at the Clearview Horse Farm. Summertime's a great time.